Hello everyone, my name is Anna Tzolaku and I work as a developer advocate at Amadeus for Developers. Amadeus for Developers is the open API program of Amadeus which offers travel data and travel services to developers across the world. In today's video, we're going to see how to install the Amadeus Python SDK in order to call the Amadeus APIs. And if you ask why do we need to use the Amadeus SDKs, there are actually several reasons for that. It makes the life of developers much easier as it helps you integrate easily and efficiently the APIs into your own programming environment. Not only you get access to the APIs, but you get uh, a an extremely simple authorization process. We also make sure that with these libraries we provide good code quality with continuous integration and continuous delivery. We also offer error handling to help you debug your application. And we also offer code examples for every single API that you can just copy and paste directly into your application. As you can see, we are already in the Amadeus for Developers GitHub organization, where we contain all our open source projects, such as SDKs in several programming languages, code examples, and demo applications. Uh, now let's get started with the Amadeus uh, Python SDK. So now let's go uh, at the beginning of the README page. And here we can see that uh, in order to be able to run this library, you will need to have a Python 3.4 at least. So this version or higher versions than that. Uh, Python 2 is no longer supported and you can install directly with pip the, the library with this command. So now let's go to our coding environment. Let's go to our ID to install the application and uh, to the library and then we're going actually to use this example to show you how to make your first API call. So now we are in Visual um, Studio Code and we install the Amadeus Python SDK. Okay. So as you can see, the version 5.1.0 is installed and I have taken the a code example that is in the get started page and I did a couple of small changes. The first thing that I do that we also um, think is a good practice is to instead of showing your API key and your API secret, a directly in the code to add it in the environmental variables. So I have already exported into my environmental variables the Madeus API key and secret, and then I use this library in order to be able to get them later. For your information, a in, if you want to test with the Amadeus um, APIs, you will have to go to developers.amadeus.com, uh, register, uh, and once you have a new account, you will be able to create an app and get your API key and your API secret. Now let's see here what this code is doing. So the first thing that I'm doing here, as I already mentioned, is I import the OS uh, library in order, in order to be able to get my environmental variables. And then I want to import all the uh, classes I will use for the Amadeus SDK. In this case, it's the client, which is Amadeus client class in order to access the APIs that we offer and also the response error class in order to be able to um, handle any errors that might come up. Here I start the Amadeus client object where I pass my client ID and my client secret, secret, which I take from the environmental variables. And afterwards, I'm able to do an API call. In this case, I'm calling the flight offer search API, which is an API which returns the cheapest flights for a specific trip that I'm looking for. For example, in this specific use case, I'm searching for a trip from Madrid to Athens in the first June of 2022 for one traveler. And to keep it simpler, I also added the parameter max one, because 
because I want to return just one flight. Now, if the API call is successful, I will print the data coming from the response. If not, I'm going to print the error. So now let's run the application. Okay, and as you see here, we have returned one flight and we have all the information for this flight. Each flight, for example, has one specific ID, uh, the duration, the departure, uh, IATA code and from which terminal, the time, the arrival information, etc. So if you go back to the readme, you will also be able to see uh, the ways of which you will be able to call also other APIs in the list of supported endpoints. And of course, also you can go to the repository with the code examples to see complete examples. So thank you very much for watching. This was uh, a quick tutorial to show you how you can get started with the Python SDK. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us and send an email at developers at amadeus.com or you can also join the developer community we have on Discord. Thank you very much.